Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. Bonjour Today at la tête dans l'eau, the aquatic ballet. ballet. You've probably already seen this compact school of fish swirling with extraordinary synchronicity. When you have the chance to witness this on water, you're left breathless. But how exactly are they changing direction so quickly when a predator charges on them? Is it only with their eyes or are they telepathic? Imagine for a moment a human crowd facing an attack from King Kong. What a chaotic mess that would be. But not for the fish. No, they avoid predators with precision. And thus, a compact school can make the predator's task quite difficult as they attempt to focus on one prey at a time. Today, we have the chance to be in Bonaire, the bee of the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao, who are situated off the coast of Venezuela. Of the three sisters, Bonaire is the least known by holiday makers since it has very little beaches. On the other hand, this island is a diverse paradise. It is surrounded by coral reefs situated close to the shore, which means you don't need a boat to access the majority of the dive sites. In some spots, reefs are close enough for snorkelers to follow their dive friends on their excursion. Okay, okay everyone ready? Here we go! What a nice day to dive! Without an aerial view, it is very difficult, almost impossible to find a school of fish. But this year, we are lucky enough to be in Bonaire for three weeks and since we are diving several times a day, we are hoping to see one. I, for one, always start my dives scanning my surroundings, but then quickly find myself looking back at the bottom of the sea, which is my favorite activity. As I am diving and photographing a lobster, I happen to look up at my cameraman and see in his eyes that something is happening behind me. I turn around and the school was just there, over my head, and it was spectacular. These are called Big Eye Jacks, and look at that perfect formation. We were totally taken by surprise. Despite its impressive mass, the school appeared suddenly. It is such an extraordinary sensation to be surrounded like that. And no, the fish are not telepathic as it was once thought by naturalists and neither can they synchronize only with their eyes even though they play an important role. So how do they do it? is the row of special scale located on their sides called by scientists the lateral line. This line of scale is somewhat recessed and houses sensorial cell mounted by minuscule air cells whose tips are covered by a jelly-like dome-shaped cap. We call these cells neuromast. 
changes in the water stimulate the cell's air and in turn, they stimulate nerves that trigger an electrical pulse that transmits information to the brain. The fish can then decode with precision its environment, even in total darkness. It can therefore not only feel the position of its congener and of its predators, but also of all its surroundings, a bit like a bat sonar. Did you see this? It's so impressive. The lateral line is truly a fantastic sensorial organ. It can pick up on water movement, which are directly routed to the brain, which makes the fish movement so impressive. Know that the lateral line is not only found in fish that form schools like big-eyed jacks, but we also find it in the great predators like sharks, who use it to detect their prey. A big thank you for being with us, and we'll see you soon for another La Tête dans l'eau video. And until then, happy diving, keep safe, and above all, take good care of this magnificent environment. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not hesitate to leave us a comment.